What are the possible complications? Allergic rhinitis can affect the quality of your life, whether mild or acute. Feeling stuffy and sneezing or having itchy eyes can be tiresome and annoying. If you find it hard to sleep because of symptoms, your concentration can be impaired the next day. Many people with allergic rhinitis also have asthma. Signs of asthma are shortness of breath, wheezing, dry cough, a tight feeling in the chest, and difficulty breathing. Also common in allergic rhinitis sufferers is eczema, or atopic dermatitis, which causes red, itchy, and swollen patches on the skin. Allergic rhinitis causes sinus congestion, and if left untreated, may result in sinusitis, an infection or inflammation of the membrane lining the sinuses. The symptoms of this are tender and swollen cheeks, nose, forehead, and eyes. Allergic rhinitis can lead to otitis media, a middle ear infection in children, causing a buildup of fluid in the middle ear, pain, and a fever. How can you prevent allergic rhinitis? Western countries have a higher prevalence of allergic conditions, but researchers have not discovered why. It is wise to limit a child's exposure to potential allergens, especially if there is a family history of allergic rhinitis, asthma, or eczema. Balanced diet, regular exercise, and adequate rest can help maintain the function of your immune system. It is possible to limit the signs and symptoms of allergic rhinitis by reducing your exposure to them. You can reduce your exposure to mold or pollen by keeping the windows and doors closed during pollen season, not going outside on windy, dry days, and using air conditioning in your house, office, and car. Avoid yard work when pollens and molds are in the air. A dehumidifier can reduce indoor humidity, and a high-efficiency particulate air, or HEPA filter, can be used in your bedroom. If you are allergic to dust mites, you can consider wooden floors or laminate instead of carpets or rugs in your bedroom. Vacuum your carpets every week using a special vacuum cleaner which has a small particle or HEPA filter and use a dehumidifier to reduce the indoor humidity. Allergy proof covers are available for box springs, mattresses and pillows. Bedding should be washed and water heated to at least 130 degrees Fahrenheit. If cockroaches cause allergic symptoms, consider professional pest extermination to get rid of them. Other ways of dealing with them include fixing any leaky pipes or faucets, locking crevices and cracks where they might enter, and storing all food, pet food too, in sealed containers. Food crumbs and spills should be cleaned up immediately, and plates should not be left unwashed overnight. Garbage should be emptied daily. Consider using a liquid soap, as cockroaches can subsist on soap bars. If you are allergic to your pets, bathe them weekly, keep them outside if possible, and do not let them in your bedroom. If you must touch a pet, wash your hands immediately afterwards. If your symptoms are severe, it might be better not to keep any pets at all.